praise to God for the year 2021. God saw us through despite this storm. We thank God for God bringing us into the year 2022. Uh, 2022 is going to be a great year, a year that will please everyone in true favor. Our Father in the Lord has declared to us that the siege is over. Whatever siege that we have experienced in the year 2021, it is over. This year is our year of flourishing. So I decree into the life of everyone that this year you will flourish. Like the palm tree, you will flourish. Like the tree that is planted by the rivers of water, you will flourish. The hand of God will be upon us. Just as the Lord preserved the children of Israel in the journey of the wilderness, God will preserve us throughout this year. The storm that will come our way, God is with us and will come every storm in the name of Jesus. And I speak to our life, I decree and I declare that in the name of Jesus, whatever good thing that this year is holding, He will deliver it into our hands. Whatever evil that the enemy has programmed into this year, 2022, it should not be our portion, neither will it be the portion of our family in the name of Jesus. And I pray for every member of Turning Point and those who are related to Turning Point, either by social media, by enemies who are friends of Turning Point. In this year, 2022, is going to be a year of flourishing. We will flourish in all ramifications in Jesus' name. I want to encourage everyone, just as Apostle Paul said in uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse uh, 13, he said that he, he, he pressed forward toward the higher calling. He doesn't allow what he has done, what he has achieved in the past, to, to uh, 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 discourage him or to make him to feel as if he has attained, but he pressed forward every day. So every day I want to encourage you, just most especially this year, in our service to God, let's press forward. Let's serve Him more than ever before. Let's make sacrifice because definitely our God is God that pays. He pays on change. So let's learn to, to walk with God with all our mind. He knows our heart. He knows what we do. God encouraged uh, Joshua. He said, be strong, uh, be strong, be courageous. It is only courage and strength that will see us through this year. Discouragement will come, but any man that has a focus, when you know where you are going, you can't be distracted. So I want to encourage you, the achievement of last year should not be a distraction to us. Let's press forward every day. Let's serve the Lord. Man, uh, 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 appreciate us or not, let's serve the Lord, because it is good to serve the Lord. And if you are doing all this service, sacrifice unto the Lord, you are not saved. You are just working for nothing. So the first and foremost thing is that you surrender your life to Jesus. You serve the Lord because he knows you. Let's serve the Lord this year and let's see what God will do, which I know definitely will that God will not abandon us. God will definitely bless us.